Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi, I'm Jonathan William O'Toole. I'm here at Philadelphia Specialist Hospital in Lagos, Nigeria, with my good friend, Dr. Stephen Aline. He is a fertility specialist and a surgeon, and this is his hospital here, and we are his guests. Now, uh, we've been friends of quite a while on social media, but we're, we've met uh, recently for the first time and are spending time here. While we've been together, this slaughter has occurred in New Zealand at the place of worship, the mosques, and at, in Christ Church. And as we think about what happened there, uh, even though we don't have all the facts, no one has all the, all, all the facts successful, the context for terrorism, especially in the last century and on into this century with September 11th, is, is not unreasonable for us to ask. For the first suspect for us to think about would be the Zionists, because Menachem Begin even bragged about his involvement in terrorism. People forget the King David Hotel, people forget uh, so many of those acts of terrorism, but they bragged about it, they were proud of it. So uh, I beg you to uh, indulge us in our speculation and as we kind of open the, open the door to, to, consider, yeah, to consider that things may not, we're not saying people didn't die in New Zealand, and I won't speak for Dr. Alai, but uh, I, I'm, I'm sure I would be very shocked to, to know that people did not die. I believe 50 people have been slaughtered. 50 people trying to worship their God in their place of worship. So this is a horrible tragedy, but I don't want us, and I know Dr. Alai does not want us to be played by people who are puppet masters using the Hegelian dialectic to try to play well-meaning people against other people. We try to play Muslims against Christians, Christians against Muslims, the way we were played in September 11th. Okay, so I'll turn it over now to my good friend Dr. Al Lai, and we'll just talk about his thoughts on yes. this subject. Thank you very much indeed. Yes. Uh, I'm pleased and I'm, it's a privilege to be a part of this discussion, having right. met you, uh, a deep thinker like mm -hmm. you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Uh, I, I know your, your view, your, your life view is from the scripture. Mm -hmm. You love the Lord. And um, you are a member of our Maranatha group mm. speaking about the second coming of our Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. Where is our, that's where that is our hope and where that is our faith Amen. and where that is our our whole purpose of living. And that is how we see you we view life. So it's in that respect. Uh, I uh, I met Jonathan. Mm -hmm. And um, we started discussing about the things going on in the earth. Just as he said, men, men are from bed, designers. I'm privileged to know a lot about the Talmudic faith. I'm privileged to know a lot about Kabbalah. Yeah, it has been introduced to me many times, but I rejected these things being a child of God. Uh -huh. I'm privileged to know that there is a plan for a world government. Having lived in the USSR, where the motto was, as introduced by the Talmudist Kabbalist Bolsheviks, uh -huh. who were mainly Talmudists, uh -huh. otherwise known as Jews or Jewish, it was the motto there that all workers of the whole world should unite. Proletariat set strong, so it united. They should all unite. But with the fall of the USSR, their plan came to an end. There is still that plan to build a Tower of Babel, which Nimrod started with Semiramis. But God broke it. It couldn't go on. That Tower of Babel will still be built in the form of the Third Temple. And before it could be built, there must be a unifying force we believe, because as he said, we think we have our facts, we believe we have our basis of speaking, but when you call it speculations, it's up to you that there is a, a conscious effort to take guns away from everyone on earth. To take guns away. Yeah, to weapons. Guns away. To defend self. Because that was the first thing they did. The to service did. To disarm the world. To disarm. That was what they did in the USSR. They disarmed the Russians, the Soviets, mm -hmm. and they took over the country. 
no one could stand against them. These socialist, globalist thinkers. 